All right. Um, I mean, let's do a little quick check. Can you? I know you guys are looking at the stream and listening. What do you? Can you hear me? Okay. Everything sound okay? Background noise. It's very quiet. I've muted uh, the my chat though. You said I'm very quiet. I hear myself. Kayla. Yeah. Are yeah, you? you're very quiet. Well, the entire thing is kind of low. So I can turn myself up, but I don't want to turn up too high. What up, Chrissy? Oh God, weird things are happening. Hey, hey, y'all. All right, I'm, I'm right behind you. Okay, okay. Perfect. Well, this is going to be interesting because... Ah, they just scribbled my notes. Scribble, scrabble. Yeah, yeah, just scribbled my notes. It's fantastic. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Squadcast Episode 8, the one where we deal with technical issues while we try to make things work. I hope you guys are doing all right today. My name is Antoine, a.k.a. Ninja Twan, and I'm here with my typical four. Uh, we got uh, the man, the myth, the fatness back, uh, Reverie. How you doing today, boss? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You're, you and your gigantic Roth standing behind me. <laughs> He already got his winter gear on, bro. I know, I know. In the in the stark red, what is that? The what red is that? Is that the candy red? What do they call it for yet? Uh, I think it's the dollar model. Let me check here. It looks a little too bright. I thought dollar model was a lot uh, darker. a lot darker than that. Yep. Dollar mold. Yep. Oh, crazy, crazy. Well, this these these jackets have like a uh, have a uh, why. A sheen to them so it like brightens it up yeah yeah with the matching shoes i see that i see that looking uh pretty dapper my guy two uh or i guess uh below me in this in this picture uh we have kami senpai aka Corey. how you doing today you got the beanie on today oh yeah 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 i had to switch to the beanie you know the squad chose which one we wore today um i'm doing all right i'm trying to figure something out right now yeah, so I think it's cool. I think it's cool. We're, we're on the move right now, trying to trying to make sure we're ready for the the end Walker release. You know, yeah, that, you already know. You already know. <laughs> Chrissy says, uh, "Okay, big drip." <laughs> big, drip, big drip. You already know. You already know. And to my bottom stage right, right, stage stage right, yes, yeah. stage. Stage left, yeah, yes. No, it's we stage have... right. Ah, yeah, no, so I was right. Ha! You son of a bitch. We have the the always here, never forgotten, most times, Lulu Soul. <laughs> I I happen to forget your questions all the time, and I don't mean it. I promise. I promise. Uh, Lulu Soul from Twitch.tv slash Lulu Soul. Instagram. Uh, yeah. Lulu Soul, L U U L U S O U L. Make sure to check her out. She's currently working on a lot of art projects, and she's got some stuff going on. We've talked about it in the last couple of uh, podcasts. So she's got a table set up. Uh, how are you doing today? How am I doing today? Overwhelmed, but getting there. Okay. Okay. Uh, better energy than uh, last week. Yes, much better. Good. Got to recharge those. Got to recharge those social batteries. You know. Cool. Uh, today is uh, going to be a weird one because we wanted to do reactions, but uh, audio is broken. Uh, I say that, right? But it looks like the sound from my PC is coming through. So if uh, either of you watching can let me know if you can hear uh, Final Fantasy game music in the background, we might be OK. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me uh, let me do a quick check on something real quick, because if this works, then it'll actually improve the stream for the day. Yep, that definitely works. Okay, we're good. We're in business. That was a lot of shit. Sorry, rip ears. <laughs> All right. We always start the show off with what are we playing? What are we watching? Or what have we played? What have we watched? I'm going to start today. I'm going to start today. Okay. We had a Halloween gathering this weekend, and one of the homies that's been on the show, Dim Sum, was here. And uh, everybody was asleep the night after, or the, the morning after. So he and I were awake, bright-tailed, bushy-eyed, and all that. And he was like, let's play some Pokemon Unite. 
and we did. We got a bunch of ranked matches in. Um, we went. We I, I say a bunch, but we did like three or four. Uh, we have four. We were three and one. So you know, kicking ass, taking names, a lot of bubble gum and all that stuff. Um, I leveled. I ranked up. And uh, I found out that Bulbasaur, a.k.a. Venusaur, is a goddamn terror. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's a whole team here. It's cool. Press the L. Everybody's dead. Sweet. Win games. Oh Profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really dumb because you wouldn't think. Out here like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always said that Bul Venusaur best starter Pokemon from uh from blue and red and yellow you know if you're picking other pokemon you just really hate yourself people yeah. oh, i need i need to have the charizard cool man but you know when you get to that water gym you're kind of fucked <laughs> all right well that's my gaming uh for the week also obviously playing final fantasy i did want to drop that you know the free company that we created uh has been growing so if you're listening to the podcast and you play final fantasy 14 you happen to be on Primal, come check us out on Excalibur. We're doing the thing. We're 50 members strong now. Um, 50? Yeah, 50 members strong now. And 50 solid. We've had a few uh, sprouts leave because, you know, they hop in, they want, you know, instant help or freebies or whatever, and then they hop out. Like, so as it stands, we have a solid 50 people that have joined and have, have no intention of currently leaving that I know of. So that means that from this base, we'll only get bigger and hopefully uh, more tight knit bigger because I enjoy knowing everybody that's in our free company. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So that's been me just recruiting and looting. Uh, who Lutin wants to go next? Scootin'. Looting and scooting. Yeah, you already know. Lulu, what have you been playing? Uh, I actually... <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of Animal Crossing, a uh, little bit of Final Fantasy, and a lot of bit of art. I don't that know is, if that counts. They definitely, definitely can count. Oh, oh! Respectfully, Richie with the resub. Appreciate you, my dude. Appreciate you. Thanks for that. So, art, I will agree, is more like a game. Because um, I'm, I'm a speak and say artist. Like, I see someone do, and then I try to emulate. So it feels like a game to me. But, uh, Kami, what have you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I just think mostly I've just been prepping for the massive amount of games that'll be coming out this month. <sighs> oh, yeah. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. I'm excited, but I'm also broke. So I gotta wait. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta look. You gotta see if it got if you got if it got pushed back or not. I while still he, love the knife. I love the knife. <laughs> while he's looking at that, James. What have you been playing? What have you been um, doing? Pretty much just Final Fantasy. I've gotten in a couple of extra games uh, with some coworkers for uh, Back for Blood. Uh, still behind where we are. Uh, consider I don't we haven't even finished off Act One. <laughs> like it's a oh. slow crawl but um <laughs> like it, it, it's no matter how many times like you run through thing or actually hold on no we got into act two um and there's like a mission that apparently like a lot of people are uh it's the same one that i think tad said that everyone's like farming to get cards yeah uh, it's like a really short card. one yeah yeah and uh we got to there and got like overran because that it's a wall of zombies coming at you um and the big 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 dude <laughs> and <laughs> we smashed our face against that like two or three times and they were like okay let's call it a night <laughs> so, oh man yeah so what you're saying is um, you know we do the damn thing and they're uh, struggling is that what i'm hearing i mean we barely did the on. thing so, what? We, let, let's be it, honest. Let's the, be honest. We did it. Hey, 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 it was hey. like we had one and a half person left alive when we cleared that. So hey, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> a dub is a dub is a dub. Uh, right. We may slink by sometimes. All right, but you know yeah. we get we've been getting there slowly because yeah. you know we've been doing it for the stream, but. 
like we have been doing pretty well and i mean even in our deaths it was like we we failed at the very end or something crazy like that so yeah, yeah. i mean but you know we we've, prog- we've progressed we've progged as they say you know mm-hmm. kami are you gonna tell us what you're learning about today um, so, I had to make sure Horizon 5 was still coming out on the 9th. We're good. <laughs> That's what I'll be on on the 9th. But, um, you know, same old Final Fantasy. Playing Smash. Tried Sora out. He's okay. I have to really play with him some more. Because he's, he's really lightweight, which is how he is built in the original game. So it makes sense, but I'm not used to that. So... We're figuring them out. We're figuring them out. It'll be sweet. Yeah, we did throw some hands. We did throw some hands. Got to practice, though, because I'm also... Yeah, yeah. Super rusty. Yeah, yeah. Need some WD-40, because... Uh, Something, right? Something. It's kind of bad. Uh, so what are, you, uh, what are you learning in Final Fantasy today? Um, <laughs> right now, Dragoth and I are getting our Aether Wheels uh, crafted. But um, since I haven't messed with it, it's a different craft. And I'm like, damn, I should have leveled those crafters and gatherers earlier. But we were too focused on the ground, man. So I guess that's what I'm doing tonight is leveling fra- uh, crafters and gatherers. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all will see me around. Yeah, me too. I definitely feel like uh, I'm behind on the crafting oh, yeah. game. Well, yeah, we're, yeah, I might Super have to behind. jump in there. Which ones do you have cra- uh, leveled up right now? It's just right leather now, crafting and... Yeah, lever crafter. Uh, I'm like 40-something on minor. Those are the only two. Oh, and I grabbed goldsmith, but definitely will have to level it. Do that one, and I'll things. do... Um, I'll finish off my... What is this? Blacksmith. All right, that way we'll have we leather crafting. That. I think we might need carpentry at some point, but... I started a carpentry. Okay. Because I've yes. got them all unlocked. It's just a matter of leveling at this point so we can get everything built up, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Needless to say, uh, we... Yes, I did, uh, <laughs> <my face. laughs> we're, we're organizing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, getting, it's getting a little bit more tedious because we are in the infant stages of having a free company. I don't know how much uh, you're involved with, like, workshopping and all that stuff with your free company, but... Um, it's requiring us to play parts of the game that we've never played before and now because we are growing we're learning that it may take a fleet of crafters to get to where we want to be by endwalker however we have a dedicated few that are already kind of there so i've already reached out to a couple of people and they are going to hit the ground running hopefully so you know We'll see how, how it shakes out. The The only reason why this is important is because when Endwalker starts, we want to make sure we have Tier 3 buffs. And the yeah. Tier 3 buffs you can't purchase <clears throat> from the OCIO officer from your grand company. Where I can just go get Meat and Mead 1 and two, or 2 and Heat of Battle 2 and just pop those all day long like Skittles, you know. These you can only pop, well, I think it's like every 12 hours. And it's a Tier 3 boost, which is a lot stronger, which... You know, despite, you know, the players in my group, like, that is what I want. So that when I'm leveling, I can go fast. Because I'm fast as fuck, boys. You already know. Fast I'm going to be... <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so that's kind of like what we've been playing. Um, let's move to what have we been watching. And uh, I'm going to start because uh, I don't remember the whole title. I'm, I'm going to screw it up. It's um, uh, The World's Greatest Assassin uh, Reincarnated oh, as an Aristocrat. And man, I'm liking it. Um, the only thing that I'm not liking about it is that it's kind of got some generic artwork. If that makes sense? Like it's very like um God, I don't know how to explain it. Like there's like a time where like there was like a mass uh drop of like magical anime, like um what was it? Uh the irregular at high school, whatever, and all those anime that had come out at the same time, Infinite Stratos, um, all that stuff, where okay, they're, yeah. yeah, where they're in it, like the the show's content is great to watch, but then like when they get into fights and stuff, it's like very subdued and wow. underwhelming. It's not great, 
and that's kind of where this landed for me. So um, you watched a little bit with us the other day when you were here, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. But I, you know, I think it's pretty good. It's just, uh, I don't know, man. I was, the way people were talking about it, I was like, oh, man, it's going to be fucking lit. I'm excited. Let's get on the show. And then I was like, ooh, this could have been a lot better. This could have been a lot better. It's, it's building, man. It's building. No, yeah, no, no, no. You're, you're still on the very beginning. No, no, yeah. no. I get that, but you you have to wow me with the animation early on. But they really just like episode one was over the top. It was amazing. It, I think I think the the disconnect here is that I'm saying like the animation feels like the fights could have been more intricate, better done. The animation could have been a lot better. But it's like, hey, I brought a gun into existence, and now I'm just going to say this really fast word and shoot people. And I'm like, I'm like, ah, like, show me what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, I, mean, I feel like the, the show is moving a little too fast. Um, also, like, we're like, it's like, uh, show starts. We get our protagonist. We know his mission, and then the next day he's like a level thousand mage. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, this is where we are. Okay, uh, character development's not really there. You know, it's it's just saying. Eh. It's all right. Uh, and we watch a lot of horror movies because Halloween. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Halloween movies. <laughs> uh, James, what have you been watching? Um, I have actually been reading more. Oh, what have you been uh, reading? So, uh, but I mean, as far as watching like The Assassin, like it's doing the build up. Like, I don't feel like it's moving fast. Like, it's, it's obviously... He has until the age of 18 to complete his mission, or he can't even start it. So it's, it's doing a build-up. So, um, Paladin, uh, Faraway Paladin, really good. Oh, I forgot that Really, started. really good. The thing um, about about the whole age thing is that the dude started off as six years old, and then, like, literally in the same episode, he's, like, 13. No, he started off at one, day one. They literally saw his eyes coming out of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he okay, met his... Then he was eight. Then he met his teacher. Yeah, I was eight. Then he met his teacher, right? And then, like, he was in the woods, right? I'm, not, I'm trying to give no spoilers. He's in the woods, right? He meets this new person. And then after he, like, brainwashes... Years, yeah. It looked like they turned into fucking 45. Like, <laughs> it what was like... The, 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 the time skip was immense. No, 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 no. She went from nothing to everything. Let's be real for a second. To be fair, right? Years. That is... Yeah. That is the change when you go from Ow. emaciated to, you know, actually healthy. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the, good food will do to you. I'm sorry. The fun yeah. bags don't grow exercise. 30 sizes just because you didn't eat a meal overnight. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, That's no, no, no. She <laughs> drank her milk. Meals. Oh, my she God. She drank her milk. <laughs> she drank her milk. She ate her Wheaties. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> it worked that way, but all right. Oh my god. Hey, All right. anime world that does? Uh, apparently yeah. so. It only takes two years to grow yourself some double D's, you know what I mean? I That's mean, all it takes. Malnutrition. You don't know what her biddies were like before then. That's what I'm saying. Before they don't the just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. They had they had to do it, you know. That's how she stayed alive. Hang on you guys, I will be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So, what was the other one? Far away paladin, James. Sorry, I got off track. I got. Yeah. I had. I had. I had. A, I had a circle back because. Yes. Yes, we were. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the the only two I'm really watching right now. I don't know if you've actually grabbed that up yet. Not yet. Um, but it's on the list. Are, what is it? They just met a breaking point, where everything was leading up to for at least the first couple of episodes. So now it's launching into like that last episode from Friday. I don't know. I forget what day it is. Um, it was just amazing. I freaking loved it. Um, like the combat in it is. I think you'll probably like the combat sequences. Sorry. Um, they're pretty artsy a little bit. Um, they're not. Like, I, I can see the assassin one is going to be quick if they do have any fight scenes because he's an assassin. 
They're also not right. putting a They're lot of time into the right. action, in my opinion, which was my problem. Yeah. I mean, did... when you when you <coughs> have an assassin, you're not going to have this long, drawn-out fight. It's going to be short, sweet, done, walk away. So hey, except in that except in that very first scene when they were like, "This is how we fight," and it was a really long fight scene, and like it was, uh, it just wasn't just wasn't good enough. They don't, just don't think it was good enough. But I am enjoying it, so no no problems there. But um, those are the two that I'm making sure I'm on top of each week. Um, the Fruit of Evolution is just a, a goofy one. Uh, it's still pretty good. Oh, but that, um, that is... You don't know what that is? Okay. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll have to talk about that another <laughs> new time. Episode, is what you're saying. The new episode is, it actually should come out today. Yep. Okay. So I missed it uh, earlier when I was looking at Crunchyroll. Um, but that one's super fun, too. It's another isekai, but the entire class goes. So uh, sort of like Alpharetta. Um, same type of character where he's completely and utterly, you know, an outsider to the rest of the class. Um, except for he doesn't have some, one of the, chicks in the class that was looking out for him like an alpharetta so he's a complete and utter outcast to the class um and they were supposed to go into groups to go into the next world but because he was by himself he got an extra thing but we don't know what that extra thing is and then a tomfoolery occurs as soon as he gets through okay all right (laughs) like really really fun goofy stuff um overpowered as fuck um but it's hilarious like he has no idea how strong he is and he just he's doing things because of something that he found i don't want to spoil anything so like it's 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 something you definitely gotta either i'm pretty sure there's uh, uh yeah yeah um it, it's. I'm, I'm pretty sure the manga will go into it a little bit per- further, um, but the anime, I thought it was priceless when you figured out, well, when he figured out what he had done, and you're like, oh, dude, this is great. I admit, I'm, I'm a, I'm a <laughs> inches from guy. death, basically, and he was like, oh, oh, <laughs> it was great. Wait, I can do um, this. Yeah, um, and then I have been reading Alpharetta. I just reached the end of the current series. Mm-hmm. Um, so I really want to see another season come out. Like, should it, it's supposed to, I know they're supposed to be coming out in 2022, but I really need to see them anime this next trek. Um, Cause it looks, I want to see what they do with the animation. Oh, I mean, they've already announced that our our Fuerza season two was going to happen. We just, yeah. like I said, we just don't have a date. Season, but it got pushed back. COVID. Um, yes. <laughs> so, because um, I was excited about it coming out this season, and it didn't come out, and then I looked it up, and it was next season. So, um, that's going to be awesome. Um, that's going to be super awesome. The, especially the the end season or the end fight for where they're at now uh where at least the one that i'm reading has ended off at it's gonna be amazing i can't wait yeah i've i refuse to read uh anime oh. that have not ended because if I, I i know i'm just gonna ruin it for myself and i'm not gonna i'm i'm then gonna become the bougie manga reader that like later then is like oh now I feel like Corey right now. Or literally anyone that's read the book of anything before they watched it. Yeah. Uh, and I, and there are things that I have read that I'm like, oh, I should not have done this. I'm screwing myself on this one. So. Like, I'm, uh, I'm finding it enlightening to both watch first and then read afterwards. To get the, the fill in. in whole. Right. I think that's the right way to do it instead of the other way around. And no, but that's the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I will then go read it later, which I totally agree with that. But then to read further, no, 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 I can't. I oh, can't no, do that. I couldn't help it. I couldn't. Help it. I was like, I was like, <laughs> no, I gotta see what's going. I gotta, I gotta see what comes next. To see what's going to come out after this. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I feel you. Not that. disappointed in any way, shape, or form. Um, Lulu. 
Have you been watching anything recently? Yes, actually. <coughs> um, one, I think, might surprise you guys, and the oh. other one will not. Okay, okay. Two vastly different ones. Um, the first one is the new anime by the creator of Death Note, um, something, oh, something yeah. Platinum In. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, know, I know exactly what you're talking about, because it looks mm -hmm. exactly like Death Note. It just, you know, they're angels this time. Yeah, uh, see, uh, episode one is, is all I I've seen. I said look, not that it was. It's a completely different art style, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. no um, I feel it is. Because <laughs> that's um, one I've been sitting on. I wanted to wait until like six, or six week or something like that. But... So the, the creators of um, Death Note have two distinct art styles. One is a very simplistic. Um, if you guys remember Hikaru no Go, yep. Yep. Shonen Jump Belong, that's the same guys. Okay. The same guys as Death Note. Um, and the Platinum Inn anime looks like it's a combination of the super simplistic art style they go with and the super detailed art style they go with. So that has me um, pretty excited. Um, but it's going to be good. Yeah, like, sounds awesome. It's going to be hard. Um, just, just watching episode one, like it's like it's one of those that like, you set aside the time to watch it and then you like go find some serotonin <laughs> oh no uh, speaking of serotonin oh. the other anime i've been watching is um again only seen episode one so far but what is it called high guardian spice i haven't seen that this this sounds like uh like uh something drug related no All right. it's, not, it's not drug related uh, couldn't, couldn't get weed it had to smoke spice got it I mean <laughs> but um if you go to control it's probably like plastered on the front page because it is a quote crunchy roll original um, uh, I don't know if it's subbed at all because uh, I watched the dub version uh <clears throat> it's adorable that means it's a manhua that was converted to, to anime that's what all the country roll originals for the most part like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen uh, uh, high school uh, got a high school all those all those anime are actually manhua which is a uh, Korean it's not Jujutsu Kaisen yeah I didn't say I didn't think Jujutsu Kaisen I'm oh, sorry no. well no high school uh, the, it's the other one God of High School God of High School Tower of God Tower of, Tower of God. God that's what it was yeah 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 but yeah. But it's, oh. um, I don't know if this one's a manual or not. Um, uh, I haven't seen an art style like this come come from um, a Korean manga. Is but one of the characters named Daewoo? No. Their name is like <laughs> Rosemary and Lavender. Their name is okay. Spicy. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, it's this very, very simplistic, like. The animation's not great. That voice acting is good, but doesn't quite fit the characters. Like it's very reminiscent of Shira. It's like if the early animation of Steven Universe and then the animation of Shira fused together. I was and then how you were gonna were the cousins of Avatar That's not the how last I would have said it. <laughs> you would have this anime. Like, it's... It's I very pink and purple. It is very, very, very pink and purple. Very bright. Very, like, fairy tale magic-esque. Um, I, I will say it's got an average rating right now on Crunchyroll of 1.7. I have been told I'm the only person that, they, that others have heard say anything positive about it. Oof. But what I, what I had to do is... Yeah. So, first like three minutes in it's like oh my god but then if you like realign your brain to like what if i were watching this when i were eight years old if i have to do that i can't watch it well, yeah um, well i did but i also have a five-year-old daughter and true, i actually true. stopped watching after episode one because i want to show it to her it gotcha. looks like story-wise it's going to have some elements that are more engaging for me as an adult but so far, I'm enjoying this anime for me as the small child who did not get to enjoy it as an eight-year-old. 
Right. I'm looking at it that way. Do it. That kind of makes sense. I don't Plus know there that. are magic and swords. <clears throat> From the description of this, it sounds like it's um, what's that? The the dude gets adopted by a demon, and he goes to hell to go to high school or something like that. Oh, um, um into demon school, a room That's the one. Yeah, it seems like that, but just straight up girls. <laughs> and I couldn't watch that one either. I mean, Though I did watch the entire some, first um, season. Oh, yeah. It's also super gay. I mean... Oh, all right. I'm with it. Let's go. Like, unaba unabashedly, like, you're you're not even into the first episode, and you've identified at least two lesbian couples. And it's... It's not, sec it's not sexualized. And they're just people. Ah! So excited. <laughs> Is my microphone broken? It feels like it's broken. We can, we can hear you. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. I have this thing about um, representation done as correctly. if it... Yeah, correctly. Mm -hmm. Not for clout, not for sex appeal, but just because, like... Yeah. So not the new Mutants movie by Marvel, or by Fox Old Marvel? Probably. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Yeah, they, they 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 were definitely cloud chasing with that movie. It was not good. It's definitely not good. Um, cool. Something to take a look at if you're interested in being an eight year old again. Purple and pink. I hate you so much, Wiggly. I hate you so much. I didn't catch what he said. No 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 no. It's not what he said. Look at your game. Oh my god. I can't I can't. I have a an NVIDIA broadcaster in the way. Oh was, my god. Uh, of course. I got her down. Just be <laughs> thankful that Lulu's camera is where it is. <laughs> oh my god. He he's the type of person to do this, even though he acts as if though he's an adult. <laughs> he's the first person. Uh, of course. Do you not see Wiggly? No. Or no, batches of fun in the game right batches across from you? Fun? Yeah, he's angled himself toward you now. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. He can't just can't just be normal at all. Oh. He can't oh he can't just he can't just be normal. He Is that has a funny to deal? Yes, it's a, he's wearing the bunny outfit from the gold saucer, or at least half of it. <sighs> okay. So now that we've, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm completely so lost. Is not Sonic? Holy shit. <laughs> so because of that, uh, we're going to move into something fun. I thought about this today because I was like, holy shit, we just finished October and we've had all this talk about candy and shitty candy corn and all this other stuff. And <laughs> I got five pounds of Starburst jelly beans on the way. Oh no. <laughs> Sounds delicious, but oh no! I know. <laughs> rip, rip your sugar levels. <laughs> no, um, James. To moderate myself. I'm putting you back into the fatty food moment, and this question fatty. is: the fat, the fatty food corner? No, no, no. It's crafting corner, manga minute, and the fatty food moment. Oh, all right. Right. Because his stomach changes flavors requests all the times. It's moment <laughs> by moment. Not gonna, yeah. I mean, that's not, yeah. That's true. Just, just, all right, just making sure, just making sure. <laughs> the question for you today, James, and I'm gonna give you top three for this one, okay? Top three. Top three best Thanksgiving sides. Nothing. <laughs> Because we're Straight moving stuffing. in, because we're moving into None of that shit with cranberries tossed in there. None of the extra <laughs> stuff, just stuff, real stuff. Accurate. Would you would you say accurate. would you say specifically stovetop stuffing? Because despite how despite how cheap and I easy have, it is, why is it so, so fucking good? It, it, because they take the crust off, <laughs> and if you make it from home and you don't remove the crust, the crust makes it bitter, and thus it doesn't taste as good. And thus you go with stovetop, so you don't have to cut the crust. See, he already know, bro. He know the yeah, signs and ready. everything, dog. He didn't even, like, pause. 
headset. I know exactly why that shit tastes better. <laughs> I, I I am glad that you picked stuffing first because legit stuffing is the like biggest game changer of it, it Thanksgiving. Has to be, it's not on my plate. It's not even offered. That's a, that's a, that is immediately disappointing. Now here's what's wild, James. You said plain stuffing. That means you don't remember my mom's stuffing, which you used to uh, adore. Well, look, look, look. I am <clears throat> talking about yeah, the people that put now. those little cranberries in there. No, 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 no. We they don't put do that. Raisins in there. No, 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 they no. Put all the extra crap in there. The walnuts and stuff. No. What you do that. is right. You do you do uh, a sweet onion, right? Grilled on the stove. Right. That's part of the right. stuffing. Yeah, you 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 chop that up, put in the stuffing, right? Then you then you brown you some ground beef, mix that up, and then you sprinkle it in there, right? And then you cook it, and then it gives you kind of like the soft texture with a little bit of protein in there. Oh, so good, so good. And you wouldn't have never known it was in there because she does it in a way that it's so don't so, so granular in there that oh, mm, mm, so good, so good. No, I'm actually gonna call her in a moment and be like, hey, uh, send me that recipe because I need it now. All right, James, number two. Number two, number two, number two. Um, what is it? That the the green bean uh, casserole. Yeah, the green bean casserole with the the the, the fried onions on top. The cr- the Crispy cream onion. the cream of mushroom soup. Mm-hmm. So I'm also with Kami on this one where that's a dish that I could do without. However, my wife, on the other hand, like she's like, oh, you need me to bring something? That is the first thing she will make because it's easy. easy. But it's also everybody loves it. Um, Mm -hmm. But I am not a mushroom person. I'm with Kami on that one. I I understand. It's not for me, just like candy corn. But I understand. Although I understand this one and not candy corn. Number three, James. Uh, number three, of course, you gotta go with the tried and true, the mashed potatoes. Mm, mm. Fully loaded mashed potatoes. Yeah, I would at least. Cheddar? <laughs> you don't Bacon? like stuffing? Wait, hold on, Kami, you don't like stuffing? No, 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 no. no. I, I fell out of love with stuffing a long time ago. <laughs> Is it. Bruh, that makes me kind of sad, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, oh. Look, I only eat stuffing once a year, and it's Same. only for Thanksgiving. You you uh you don't have a wawa. A if you have to eat it all the time, it, it's yeah, not that, a treat. That that's that's kind of what happened. I look forward I had to, to it. eat it so. a lot at one point in time, so I'm just like, yeah, no. cause it's cheap and easy. That's all. Oh, I will say, James. I will say, James. I'm sad for you because you're not within a wawa, because you know they do the wawa Thanksgiving bowls. And it's uh, mashed potatoes, I... stuffing, mm-hmm. and turkey with gravy in a bowl for like five bucks. And it Sounds is like delicious. A, a KFC famous bowl. It's like that, except it's way better. <laughs> it's so much better because they actually know how to cook food. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so the top three. And I, I don't agree with number two, but I do agree with number one and number three. However, number three needs to be red skinned garlic and herb mashed potatoes. Because, man, man, I like to throw it out in the kitchen. I like taking the, the baby potatoes, just mm-hmm. all, all, the, the, the white, the blue, and the, or the purple, mm-hmm. like, and the red ones, and then you roast them, and then you mash them, so mm-hmm. it's still mm-hmm. got the crisp on the outside. Mm-hmm. So it's like rust, or I what was it, rustic? I will give you no. so rustic? And, no. then, and then you don't mash them like completely, so they're still... You know, you got the crispies on the outsides. Yeah, you just you just like literally just smash them. them together. Then you, then you just toss them in to a bowl while mm-hmm. putting like loads of like ham in there, like little bite-sized little chunks, and cheddar, and you just let it. And then you you toss it in the casserole dish and toss it in the oven for a little bit more, and it and it melts everything together, and then it's whole. Man's over here making loaded baked potato oh, fillings. I'm hungry, man. It's so good. <laughs> I can oh, fucking some chives in there. I can tell. Boy, <laughs> ready, bro. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's yeah. good though. That's good though. No, like that's exactly what I was expecting. Um, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, we will talk about different dishes and uh, different ways we enjoy cooking them. Uh, but my question is for Kayla. Uh, do you guys uh, fry a turkey, or do you guys bake a turkey, or do you guys not celebrate Thanksgiving? What do you guys do for your turkey? I'm curious. Well, um, my husband's a chef. Oh, okay. Well, 
Well, oh, fuck me. Okay, cool. <laughs> so it is whatever wild hair he has up in mind that season. Um, I believe one year he did a Tadurkin. Oh, I yeah. Tadurkin. For some reason, I felt it. I feel like yeah, I, I was everybody... literally thinking that when you said he's a chef. And I'm like, he's had to try this at least once. Yeah, right, I was about to say, you have to at least give it a shot, right? <laughs> So what do you do? Do you just like get a turkey and shove a duck up its ass and just cook it in the oven? Like, I mean, I can I can ask him if he's busy. I can bring him. In. <laughs> Sorry. Um, he's he has done. I, I have no idea how he did the turkey. I'm not gonna lie, but he's done that. Um, one year we decided not to have turkey, so we did really weird things with ham. Um, oh, I'm not a turkey fan. I I'm not a turkey fan. Give me the ham, the stuffing, yeah. and my mom oh, makes like a lasagna every year. Mm. Oh, there is there is one thing I will say. His turkey never dry. That's that's it's always good. Moist and juicy and delicious. See, this year my plan is to get instead of a whole turkey, just get the turkey breasts, and then I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna bake them in. I have this like sauce that you cook with it. It's a it's a garlic or it's a honey garlic and brown pepper or not brown pepper brown sugar and it creates this like caramelization on the outside and it's very garlicky it's so good uh so real quick tried that with uh real, real quick real quick wiggly in the chat cheap and easy um that's the title of your next sex tape have a great day <clears throat> all right all right um so that was a good topic we will continue thanksgiving talking yes I think one week we should have him come in and tell us how he did the Tadurki. Today is not that day, though. Today yeah, is not that day. Gestures as he talks about <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I James! Like my hand gestures. I, if, like yeah. the whole time you're talking about. Yeah. You're like <laughs> also, James, I don't think your camera enjoys your current background because you are wisping away. Well, it's. <laughs> Like I can turn on the light and it'll fix it, but yeah, you need some, like you, need, you need, you need some light, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> me, me um, so that brings me to my next topic, Lulu's crafting corner. But instead of giving her the reins on asking her on what she's crafting, I've got questions. Okay. First off, when you're bored, right, and you have the itch to make something. What is your go-to craft other than drawing? Other than drawing? Ten seconds on the clock. Uh, crochet. I crochet coasters. Crochet or coasters? Rags, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I think I've seen you with uh, some needles before, and I figured you'd bring that up sometime. But we we got on the artist. What is it? Artist Alley? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, we've been on the train about your about your table. So I was curious about what other things uh, you you typically uh, do. What is your favorite type of craft other than drawing? Is it the same thing, or if you could dabble into something new that you've been really interested in, what would it be? See, those are two. You got two questions coming at me. Yeah, yeah, there you um, go. There you go. It, if I could try something new that I've never done, um, it would be glass blowing. I really, oh. really, really want to learn how to glow, glow glass. Um, as for my favorite craft, it, it. Look, man, I have a new hyperfixation. Like every, <laughs> you know what I did yesterday? I figured out how to make the talking PNG avatar in, through um, OBS without using Discord. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like, I. And there's a sewing machine like right there. I went through, I usually have year long, right? Year, multi year long fixations. Right now it's art. Um, before art, it was knitting. Before knitting, it was embroidery. Um, at some point I was playing around with polymer clay. Like if, if it is a crafty thing, if I can create something with my hands, um, I've even pretended I knew how to bake for a little while. Um, it didn't end well. <laughs> But it never baking never does it never ends well <clears throat> but yeah it, uh, so there's a reason for these questions okay so my wife if you don't know her her name is stephanie aka ninja steph right 
uh, she has been on this train of watching and falling asleep to DIY project stuff on YouTube to the point where I could probably tell you how to put a kitchen together because I learned it in my sleep. Um, will I do it? Hell no. But can I probably at this point? Um, so she's really into crafts and she was asking me like what she should do if she wanted to start putting videos up on YouTube of like just the random things she makes around the house. Cause she made, um, so she learned about nail art, which is like, you get like a slab of wood, you nail into the, the wood. And like, she did some stuff for some friends, like, um, you know, like the hunger games pin. So she made some of those for people that were into hunger games and a bunch of other, uh, uh, displays that people would have been interested in but same thing you know most crafters have which is crafter add which is like you know we now have like 30 pounds of string somewhere with a bunch of nails and you know hasn't moved on from there but you know she gave it a try and she enjoyed it so i was just curious of what other kind of crafts because now she wants to try diy stuff around the house which is pretty interesting I am not a crafter. I'm not a crafty person. I feel like whenever I try to put something together, I break it. So I will typically have someone better at it than me. Like I've had Kami come to the house and help me put my desk together because I will drill a hole in sideways and break I, the fucking I wood or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like to me, I'm like, <clears throat> yes, can anybody do crafts? Of course they can. It's literally just repetition and learning and just doing the thing and, you know, like, but like most people that craft things, if I make something, I look at it, I'm like, nah, it sucks, and I throw it away. So <laughs> well, that's just are, my um, fault. There are two different approaches that she can take, right? Yeah, yeah. If if she's just like, hey, I want to, I like to try a whole bunch of different things. I want to see if I'm good at it. I want to see if I'm not. Um, a really fun and surprisingly popular trend on YouTube is to look up, um, like tiktok diys five minute crafts diys by the way five minutes crafts is a scam please be very careful with your try them oh we can talk about that too after you're done oh man it's gonna be so good i'm glad you brought it up i'm so glad but, you brought it up so what a lot of people like to do is they like to watch these videos and after number one like i said make sure that what you are attempting is safe because some of specifically five minute craft videos have been proven to be not safe so like careful with that but at least like with the tiktok trends and stuff like they're like hey this is the video this is what they claim like this is what it's supposed to be and this is what i did like does it really work like the video um and if you got it to work did you have to do additional steps before gotcha. tiktok was really popular before five minutes crafts it was pinterest did i can i do the pinterest project right um, right but if she is more into the more serious levels of craft, because it sounds like nail art um, is more in the serious levels and less in the I learned how to make a paper mache bowl type right. of a thing. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest uh, she do how-to videos. Like once she figures out a craft, like now that she's kind of at the end of the, the nail art stuff, she probably has a bit of an understanding of how it works enough to make a video about like, hey, you know, this is what I liked about it. This is what I didn't like about it. This is what I learned from the experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just kind of a question because it that was something she brought to my attention was like, oh, you know, I might want to try to do YouTube videos of these things that I make. And I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like, but like, what are you interested in making for it? And then that then sparks like this like question of what what hobby of yours are you going to present to people? And she enjoys painting. Uh, <clears throat> she started working on. Um, she wanted to do what's it called? I forget what they're called. There's a bunch of there's it's so much it's so much. She's way more into crafty stuff than I am. I did a paint by numbers for about ten minutes and quit because I was like I didn't get this blue right. I'm done. <laughs> I'm not doing this anymore. It was a paint by numbers, by by the way. And I I was like, man, if this was colored pencils, I'd be all over it. But paint, nah, we ain't doing this. <laughs> it's so bad. But yeah, I was just curious. Um, and that was before we go into Kami's manga minute, which I still we still need to come up with a theme song, bro. We need to drop a trap beat, and you need to drop a couple of bars. Uh, no, I'm not dropping bars, bro. I ain't dropping bars. I, Come on, man. Be real easy. We just sit real in the lab easy. for a little bit. 
you know. All right, all right, so let's, let's, we'll, we'll, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it on the spot. We're not gonna make you freestyle. This ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, ain't, this ain't a poise video. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious. Uh, what are the reads for the week? Uh, hold on. This man told me he had 322 bookmarks. I I do. It is it is a lot, and that's only on one site. That's not even all of them. Um, 322, James. Who got? <laughs> right, to be fair, they don't all update, so you know. All right. Uh, we're going to go with a cute one. A cute one and then a funny one that's kind of cute. Uh, so the first one, um, I'm around 30 and finally fell in love. Uh, the titles, uh, the kinda, it kind of explains itself. Uh, two people meet, um, their best friends work with each other. Well, no, it's the main guy works with the main girl's best friend, and that's how they all kind of met. And um, it talks about that love story. You know, they're around 30. Neither one of them has ever been in even a casual relationship. So, like, this is their first time, and then it shows, like, you know, how they grow together and then how their friends, you know, get involved and everything like that. So it's really cute. Um, it's actually over. Um, I was kind of sad when it ended. Oh my damn, this is actually uh, really good, but it was a really cute ending. So, you know, that works out. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. And then in this other one, we'll go with uh, One Point Advice Yankee. He's a scary looking dude, you know. You know, Japanese people are scared of people that don't fit the mold. And he doesn't fit the mold, but he's a super nice guy. And his thing is, He's filled with useless knowledge that happens to be helpful for whatever you're going through right in that moment. So if, if you need to fight somebody, he's like, well, if you're going to throw a punch, don't throw it this way. Make sure you throw it this way. If you're feeling fatigued, he's like, well, here's some simple stretches that'll help you get over your fatigue really quickly. And then, you know, of course, there's some sort of romantic subplots. This is the most rom- random. <laughs> it, it's so random because it's like, It starts out like we see this mom and kid, they're walking down the street and like the kid walks into a guy with his ice cream and, you know, it stains his pants about, oh, shit, this dude's a Yankee. I'm fucked. And he's like, hey, mom, just so you know, if you soak this in this thing, this stain will come right out. And little homie, it's cool. Your your ice cream made a dog on my plain white pants, so you know now they look nicer. So I appreciate it. Aww. And you're like, <laughs> okay. And then like, then they like he becomes family friends with them, so he just goes and picks up the kid from um, from daycare and stuff. And then he find he meets a kid that happens to be the daughter of two of his old friends. We're like, oh, okay, this is nice. It's really nice. It reminds me of uh, like every anime where like the new student has blonde hair. Or yeah, like his like, hair is, oh, <laughs> he's a delinquent. Come to find out, he's just a fucking teddy bear. Yeah, that's exactly right. what it is. Right. All right. Well, those are your two recommendations of the week from Kami. Uh, the subject of the topic of talk today, or the topic of choice, I thought about it earlier, and I wanted to kind of scrap it and talk about something else, but I think it's probably better that we talk about it today. Since we're going into another holiday, we may talk about more holiday stuff, right? <clears throat> the topic of the show today is, as gamers as we are, what are the things that you're doing to stay healthy, if anything? And why is it difficult? So I bring this up because, I, you know, the three of you know me and, I, you know, you all know I've got back problems. You know, Lulu may be less... Uh, knowledgeable about this and uh, so I wanted to kind of dive into that because I started working from home as well and it's actually kind of fucked my whole uh, workout gaming you know balance Um, but before I do that I wanted to say thank you to everybody in the channel Uh, we have we've had 17 to 18 viewers pretty much the whole entire time so if you're here hanging out with us thank you very much If you haven't yet, please say what's up in the chat. Come talk with us. You know, we like to shout you guys out and read your messages, especially some of the funnier ones. Um, Also, if you are enjoying what you see, uh, make sure to click the follow button. And if you happen to want to, throw us a 
throw us a subscription, you know, come hang out with us a little more often, get some emotes. If you want to catch up on the show, say this is your first time watching, you can watch us at youtube.com slash ninjatwan, and there's a playlist for the squad cast listed there. Make sure to come hang out with us more often. We are typically here Monday, 6.30 p.m. for the squad cast. Actually, we have not been late. Even though I was not firing on all cylinders today, the stream started at 6.30. Holy shit, spooky. There we go. <laughs> okay, well. Get God, get God nerds. nerds. Oh, my God. <laughs> well. Everybody that's in the channel, if you're here and you received a gifted sub, please thank Spooky for donating 10. Holy fuck. Thank you, Spooky. That was very generous of you. I appreciate that, my dude. Um, I do also want to say, uh, damn, that kind of caught me off guard. <laughs> Lost my train of fucking thought. Oh, man. I was going to give the Amazon spiel, but now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <coughs> And I'm dying. Uh, drag off the staying healthy, eating cheesy heart attack pizza. Oh my god! All right, so I guess we'll get into the uh, get into the topic. Um, I'm going to start because uh, the reason why is because uh, I started working from home. I want to say end of the beginning of August, and prior to that, uh, Kami and I had been going uh, hiking once a week. I'd been walking outdoors three days a week. Uh, not just myself, but I would take the dogs. And then in between, we had been playing Beat Saber, you know, for additional cardio during the week. Car uh, Kami, what was the last time we played Beat Saber, dog? You're muted. Oh, you're right. I forgot I had chips. Uh, it's been like two months. <laughs> so when I started no, my... It was like a month and a half when I had COVID is the last time I played. When I started the new job almost? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. When's the last time we went walking? You know the schedules, bro. The schedules about the same time. Like, about the same time. No <laughs> longer, actually. Yeah, it's been rough. It's like been, uh, it's been rough. We've been talking about doing all kinds of stuff. We haven't been to the range. We haven't done. Yeah, I mean, did a live uh, stream at the last time. I think you did. did yeah, huh? last time we went camping. Yeah, I did a live stream from the campsite, and that was the last time we went camping too. So I just wanted to bring it up because I was curious. Like, uh, and even in the chat, if you guys have something you do to kind of like i guess stay in shape like a quick you know give us a couple of lines like what are you doing to stay healthy uh while you're you know also trying to get game time and work i mean some of y'all i'm sure have families have kids um i you know right now like even just thinking about it, i'm like man how can i regiment in a walk every day now so we've actually been work trying to work to do at least you know 30 minutes with the dogs around the block you know to try to get some exercise in um also drinking more water you know i drink a monster a day and then i have to chug like 46 ounces of water to kind of balance myself out yeah exactly oh yeah wiggly did get a peloton he said he is liking it um we have exercise bike and we have an elliptical at the house ask me how often those get used How often do they get used? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking never. The exercise bike is in the shed. But oh, it's wow. because we needed more room because now the girls are working from home or have been, and the exercise bike and elliptical were in that room. So we had to size down. But, yeah, so uh, any of you guys to take it, is there anything you guys are doing actively, which is, like, eating healthy, going outside? I mean, drinking, I mean, you know, I mean, like, what are you guys trying to do? Or is there like a thing you're trying to do? Or are you just like saying, fuck it? Like, I'm just gaming. It is what it, it is, what it is, you know? Uh, I'm just curious to hear what everybody thinks. A little bit of fuck it, but I really need to get back out. Who's calling me? Um, I want to go walking, hopefully this weekend. Kind of depends on dim sum. We'll see if we can get one in before stream. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which we, we need to talk about today, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if we can get on Beat Saber this week, that'd be great. I'll be home early tomorrow. Oh, oh so Beat Saber tomorrow. Yeah. All right, I'll make, I'll make sure my stuff is charged. Back for update. I think yep. there was an update. 
Uh, if you guys are interested in Beat Saber streams, let me know. Because me and Kami, uh, we try to get it in, and it's multiplayer. So if you guys want to play with us or you think we should stream some, let me know. We'll try to get that going, too. Two liters of water every day, says Miko. Yes, she drinks a lot of water. Yeah, I wish I could drink more. Um, I feel like I drink a lot already. But I should drink more, for sure. Uh, I know James has been working on himself a little bit, too. Go ahead and drop some knowledge. James, what have you been doing? Uh, salads every lunch. Um, I've actually started uh, ordering, what is it called, uh, Magic Spoon. Um, the adult healthy cereal. Uh, where it's yeah, got... Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, so it's got like basically no carbs, high fiber, and it's really fucking good. Um, so, like, I've got another variety pack coming in. I'm trying to different flavors. Blueberries, awesome. The frosted, awesome. I think they've got like a honey nut coming over. So, like the the honey nut Cheerios type of that. Okay. All right. um, honey nut flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and like cocoa, it's really good. Uh, I've enjoyed those for breakfast because I've actually started eating breakfast now. Um, I walk on my 15 minute breaks at work. Um, I usually take a little like nap on my lunches. <laughs> so y'all like this? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, no, you're you're good. You go. No 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 no. <laughs> Pause for a second. <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? Hey man, good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, uh, uh, thanks for the thanks for the mm -hmm. gifts. What the <laughs> fuck? Just so you guys know, any of the money made from Twitch, we turn it around. Well, I say we, but I turn it around and try to do stuff for the squad. Uh, please, if you are donating, if you are subscribing, just know that everything does get turned into oh activities God. or games or whatever we need for the Discord and the stream. So it doesn't go just in my pocket. It goes to everybody. And we try to give back in any way we can. And holy fuck, what is happening right now? Good stuff. He's, he's trying to stay on top is what he's doing right now. Oh my god, is that what's going on right now? <laughs> Senpai, do four more and, and then you're winning. <laughs> four more and you're wow. winning? Oh my god, <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um I got hooked on it from YouTuber. Um I was like, eh, I don't eat breakfast, but I might as well try because I know I'm supposed to. And it's okay. actually I'm I wake up now, I eat, and I'm ready for the day for the most part. Since, you know, I work right over there. Um working from home since last March. And the walking I've been doing since then. Um, I've also got a, what is it called? An elliptical in the other room. That I might jump on like right before bed, like, well, right before my shower. But it's maybe like twice a week, if that. So. And you ain't know what it was called. <laughs> no, it's, I, Ooh, I don't like call out. using it. Cause is it like. Is the loud ones? Yeah. Like, even if, if I put, like, my Raycons in my head and listen to music, I can still hear it. The sh no. no, 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 no. So... I don't want to hear none of that shit. <laughs> so, um... Maybe twice a week at this point. It used to be more, but now it's, like, twice a week. Um, I hadn't used it for the longest time. I brought it... We had it out in the garage for, like, ever since I was living here. And then about two years ago, I was like, I need to use that. So let's go ahead and get it in the house. And then I went through all the work and getting it in the house and then didn't use it for the longest time. And then about a year ago is when I was like, I, I'm working at home. I'm not getting out. I'm taking walks, but there's not enough, you know, to yep. get my heart beat up. Yeah. So, Come play this Beat Saber, bro. Mm -hmm. Come die with the so, rest of us. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so I've been doing that. And then for dinners, I'm usually doing some like baked chicken with some baked vegetables or sauteed vegetables, something 
try to keep it fresh. Um, usually getting like summer squash and zucchini and like uh, French cutting it. Um, and then sauteing it with some bacon. Um, oh, yeah, that sounds healthy. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, fat is part of a healthy diet. Okay? I, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. It, it is the lubricant for everything, okay? It, 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 oh it, you can move around, you know? <laughs> the thing about fats, though, is if you drop carbs uh, and you eat more fats, you your body actually switches gears to burn fat. Which is kind of shitty because, uh, especially in America, your body is geared to uh, digest and receive energy from carbs. So <clears throat> people yeah. will consume carbs. It was uh, definitely would, a change. Yeah, which turns into fat. And then your body doesn't recognize it needs to burn fat, so it just looks for carbs. So dropping carbs and uh, eating lower amounts of carbs actually switches your body into fat burn mode, which is called ketosis, which is keto, which is an actual thing. So when, yeah. when I started doing this diet, it was it was a week of no energy, like guys, solidly. I needed to sleep. Yeah, like you guys may not know this, seven. but uh, I, I used to be a physical trainer and. I worked in many a gym, so um, if you have questions, please feel free to ask because I can actually probably answer them. But yeah, no, James, I'm, I'm proud of you uh, switching it up and trying something new, and we can't wait, obviously, to see the results. You know, we want you to be around for Look, a, a while. You know what I mean? in 2023? 2025? 2025. Don't take it nice and slow. <laughs> uh, we'll, call, we'll call it a Hot Boy Summer Part 4, you know. Because you missed this year. <laughs> Prelude. <laughs> right, right. Lulu, is there anything that you're doing currently to uh, keep yourself healthy? I do a lot of um, small things to trick myself. Like, this is the worst example ever right now because it's my first one of the day. But um, we have a soda stream, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I only put half of the recommended syrup into the soda stream bottle and I get the big one. And then I usually do this after my cup of coffee in the morning. And this is my soda for the day. So I keep filling this up with water. Mm -hmm. So I don't add any more soda syrup and I don't recarbonate it. But it's slowly like the taste of the soda makes you not realize you're drinking water. So as it shifts from the soda into the water, it starts tasting more like a tea. And next thing you know, you, if your bottle is completely clear, you've had a truck ton of water that day. Right. Um, another thing is we have a pull-up bar in the doorway to our bedroom. I cannot do a pull-up. <laughs> but what I can do is I can dangle yep. for like hangs. five seconds. The hangs, yep. Just yep. hold it. <clears throat> and so I'll do that. Um, it's something that's like, oh, you know, you're walking through this doorway every X amount of times every day. And you just reach up. You do the hang. You let it go. Um Little, little, little things like that. Um, and I walk my daughter just to and from school every day. Yeah. So I, good. I'll get the 10,000 recommended steps in from that. Good. Uh, Wiggly says, Hot Boy Fall might be skinnier, but still want hoodies. I've <laughs> got yeah, my hoodies. Too. All right. <laughs> so Nico says, It's hard to eat the way I'm supposed to eat because of the act of chewing is so hard. Six times a day, every two hours until dinner, trying to cut all the way down to like four. Uh, protein. Yep, switch switch a couple of those meals to protein shakes. Um, they're like not. It doesn't even have to be necessarily protein, like whey protein and stuff. You can actually find like fruit smoothie shakes and stuff that you can just blend with water or ice and do that instead. And then just drink two of your meals. Or you can do Soylent. I mean... Huel is a thing. Because, yeah, it's just because the, of the movie. Because of the name. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Silent Green, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, chewing is the issue. I was going to say, like, I used to do, before I cracked one of my teeth because I had bad dental work, <clears throat> um, nuts. Like, get those assorted nuts for, like, trail mixes and stuff like that. Almonds, and that's really good. on my, my breaks when I was in the office still because we had... They would sell them. Hey, Miko, so. pr protein powder doesn't have carbs. Like, it's literally just meal replacement, and it's all protein. Unless you buy something that's got sugar in it. Like, my favorite one was uh, cookies and cream. 
and it's just powder and you add water like the easiest way is just to add water and mix it and just chug it and then you're done but I would definitely look into protein because they uh, they are low to no carb and uh, they're healthy for you protein is great for your body so a way to supplement meals without having to eat a meal and you can literally put a scoop of powder in a cup close the cup take it with you when you go to work or go to school or whatever when you need a meal and you're in between just fill up with water shake it up and then drink it and then you're good to go and it'll hold you over <clears throat> um Dragoff says i eat talenti pistachio ice cream every night well aren't you fucking lucky <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> shit i wish oh my gosh um cool um me personally like i said before have been trying and I'd been doing really fucking well, like really well. And I can feel the effect of not doing anything coming back because I've had more back pain recently. So yeah, things have to change, especially if we're gonna walk this weekend. Speaking of this weekend yes, yes. segue. Yes, yes. I'm glad there there are seventeen people in the chat. I'm glad that it, some of it's our free company. I'm glad that some of it's our adjacent friends. This weekend, Kami and I are going to do a stream to raise money to pay off stuff. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna go with stuff for now. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, essentially recoup recouping costs for things that we've done for uh, Final Fantasy and other things for the Discord and stuff like that. Um, what's gonna happen is we are gonna do a fundraiser that's gonna help us with. Uh, making sure people that want Endwalker can get Endwalker, can have Endwalker. Make sure that we have... Hmm? If y'all need Endwalker, please let one of us know. so we can, Just so we can have a running count. How many we need to get if we need to. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're not... We're, we're not charge for the month or something like that, and you can't make yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can help out. And, you yeah. know, but that usually comes directly out of typically the three of our pockets. So what my thought was is that we can put together a fund that we can hold on the side in case, you know, somebody has a broken monitor. But I, I mean, I, I replaced Damien's the other day. So, I mean, that's good. He now has a TV um, or somebody needs something to get by. Like we love helping people. And because my charity group died, I don't I haven't done charities in a while. So. I figure why do a charity when we can just help the people that we have in our group as well. So we're going to do a stream. Uh, and we're thinking two days. I'm th well, I'm thinking two days, Saturday, Sunday, this weekend, where we will be doing all kinds of dumb stuff, not limited to, but also including uh, eating a Snickle, which sounds fucking terrible. Go yeah. This is your problem. Yeah. I'm going to be, I'm going to be 100% with you. If you end up taking a bite of that and liking it, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be so like, is it? You can be like, this good. What the? Why is this so good? Could you could you imagine a sour snickle snick snickles? Yeah. A sour Snickers though. Yeah. Like. Just weird. I still have yet to eat a snickle, and I still want to try it. Well. You oh, may have man, the opportunity <laughs> to throw in to have me and Kami have a snickle. If you're wondering why my hair is now completely blonde on top, it's because the stream will also have a possible chance to choose my hair color again. Also on the ticket, which is going to be an astronomical amount because I do not want to be a Lollafell. Yes, becoming a Lollafell will be on the list of things that can happen. It's going to be astronomical. It's not going to be close. Like, it's not going to happen. And I say it every time, and James is like, you're not paying that much money. You just bought a G9. I, I do it on purpose because I know you can't afford it now. <laughs> but we'll have things like uh, uh, Bean Boozled. Oh, fuck. We'll oh, be doing... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing things like Bean... Long bean. week, motherfucker. <laughs> we'll be doing Bean Boozled. We'll be doing hot sauce so shots. Oh, yeah. uh, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, we have a bottle of Diablo in the fridge. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. you know, we might I told, be. I told Miko about the reading thing, and she she was real fucking excited. Also, one of the incentives, or not, so there's gonna be two different things. There are gonna be incentives, right, and then there are gonna be goals, right? 
incentive is say you want Kami or I t- or or both to do a Bean Boozle challenge, you would pay whatever the money is for that, and we would do that specific challenge. Uh, a couple of the challenges are going to be Bean Boozled, of course. Uh, hot sauce shots of different calibers we will have from low rated hot sauce to higher rated. We're not doing anything crazy. We're not going to be doing ghost pepper or anything dumb like that. I have zero hot sauce tolerance, y'all. Like literally zero. The last time I've had hot sauce was the charity stream we did last time, which was two years ago. Okay. So I have zero tolerance. So literally Tabasco sauce hurts me. Okay. That is what you're paying for. All right. But we're adding on there. One of the things is going to be Kami reads a page of manga in ASMR. <laughs> How much? <laughs> yeah, How oh, much? It's going to be a selection. It's going to be. It's going to be. Good. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll have a selection of manga to read, uh, and he will read a, like a page or two, in, in his. In his throatiest close-up, and I'm bringing out the blue microphone for this one, so it will be, it'll be really, uh, really in there. I have to do that too. <laughs> yeah, Rico said, she said, if if you change every character's t- name to my name, I will pay twenty extra dollars. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> so you can read to her directly. <laughs> her directly. Oh, that's amazing. If I pay for the incentive to have Kami substitute my name for the heroine's name, <laughs> we'll we'll work on pricing. We're still talking about it. Everything I have to set up the the overlays and stuff. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. If not for anything, you guys will be able to hang out with us. It'll be me and Kami in the same room. We'll be doing the stream. We will try to play video games. Last time we were in the same room doing this, we played one match of uh, literally one match Dead by of, Deadlight. Yeah. And then what? just couldn't, couldn't get back to it. Yeah, it was one match in, in five hours <laughs> that we couldn't get back to. It also include playing, like, uh, if you want to play a match with us in Smash or something like that, you can pay in to join the queue, yada, yada, yada. There, there'll be a lot of different things if you want to donate and uh, join the fund. So something to think about uh, between now and Saturday. I know it's a little bit late notice, but... Because we're getting closer to End Walker, the whole Lollafell thing won't really work because I'm going to be a bun boy, and I fucking refuse. So, uh, if somehow we do get to the Lollafell incentive, um, we will have between this weekend and then the start of End Walker. I will not change from Lollafell until the day of End Walker. So just look forward to that. Um, but yeah. Uh, we're already an hour and 19 minutes in, and I felt like I didn't have enough content for today. <laughs> uh, it does, right? So yeah, with that yeah. being said, with that being said, with that being said, Lulu, you're first. Questions, let's go. See, I can't forget you if you go first. <laughs> so this is a question for, you, for, for you guys, question for myself, question for the chat, because I know someone, someone has done this already. Halloween was yesterday. Whose Christmas tree is up? Oh, God. You mean whose Christmas tree ever came down? Well, in that case, I automatically lose. <laughs> I mean, I haven't changed out the light bulbs on the on the patio, which is all I do. Yep, They're watch. still red and green from last year. I'm not even surprised. <laughs> <laughs> also doesn't take hers down. Yeah, Eve says all year round the Christmas tree is up. And they're on a different light switch than the regular white lights. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do y'all always ban Reber from talking? Do y'all not like him? It's okay, it's okay. He can answer he can answer in a little bit. He can answer in a little bit. Uh, right. so for me, we like we kinda cause we don't have kids and it's just me, the wife, and our roommate. Um, it's kind of like a crapshoot. Like, do we feel like decorating today? Sure. If not, then no. Uh, Christmas is one that we typically do take part in. And uh, we do put the tree up. But we have cats that like to live in the tree. They will climb the fake tree and sleep in it. I've got pictures somewhere. If I find them, I will ship them to the Discord so you guys can see them. Um, but it's, it's kind of rough. And now we have the puppy, so... You know, that him probably trying to eat the tree is going to be a whole thing, so probably not. And I love Christmas, but probably not. We'll see how it goes. What about you, uh, 
You're muted. But what about you, Kami? Oh, you were also muted. He just wants to end the entire the, the entire show, doesn't he? Lulu, your tree is still up, correct? Yes, but um, I've taken the Halloween decorations down. Now it's back to the generic decorations. But I will have my Christmas stuff up um, most likely before Thanksgiving. But specifically, I wait until after Thanksgiving because that's the big controversy. But we have um, friends coming in. Hmm. And we don't see them. We're not going like we're not going to be able to have um, in person family or friends really here for Christmas. So our friends giving Thanksgiving Christmas is going to have to go all out with the Christmas stuff. Yeah, friends giving is definitely a thing. Um, we try to have one. Well, we ha used to have one. Well, sorry. We had a Friendsgiving with uh, Stephanie and their crew because, like, you know, not that our friend groups are, you know, steadily separated, but, like, you know, she's got her friends. I've got my group of friends, but they they always typically try to do something like a Friendsgiving. Um, and that's something that I enjoy because, you know, you don't always get to hang out with your family for the holidays, so it's really cool. How long are you guys banned for? Five more minutes? Hmm. Mm, that's rough. That's rough. <laughs> I guess, uh, Lulu, do you have any other questions for me? Um, I can think of a few. Uh, you said that you as you watched a bunch of horror movies over the weekend. What was your favorite one? Oof. Uh, so one of them was we watched, uh, it's an oldie, baddie, and goodie all at the same time, was uh, Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this movie before, but uh, Freddy Krueger's pissed because... Uh, the people don't remember him anymore. In order for him to have power, people need to be afraid of him or talk about him or whisper about him, you know, so that he can inhabit people's dreams. So what he does is he seeps into the mind of Jason, who is dead somehow, and tells him that he has work to be done and he needs to get up. So Jason resurrects and starts murdering people uh, on Elm Street. So people are like, oh, shit, it has to be Freddy Krueger. Nobody else could do this. So then people start whispering about Freddy Krueger. He gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And then he starts, you know, killing people again. But every time he tries to kill somebody, Jason kills him first. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so his plan kind of like gets screwed up. So the kids involved in this, you know, back and forth between Freddy and Jason are like, well, what happens if we pull Freddy out of the dream world and make him fight Jason? And then rock music ensues. It's pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. It's it's so terrible, but it's so good. Um, I forget what else I made them watch this week. Oh, we watched World War Z. Uh, Kami hadn't had the chance to see World War Z before. He read the book. And uh, we'd been trying to watch it for like four or five months now and finally got to finish it yesterday. Um, one of my favorite, one of my more favorite zombie movies just because of how good like the CGI and cinematography is, though the movie is not nearly as good as the book. Um, and James is no longer on punishment. Uh, James, would you like to answer Lulu's question? Oh, uh, the Christmas thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you Sorry, did, I was you did. Stuff online. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we just need Kami so he can answer Lulu's question. Uh, James, what kind of uh, horror movie do you want to watch next in the Discord, though? Ooh, I Sla don't know. Slasher, ghosts, demonic possession. What are you? Uh, what are you feeling this time? I'm not sure. Um, We're out of spooky season, but the Discord's never out of spooky season. Just letting y'all know. I'm trying to think of, I don't know, some probably old ones. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Just some, some 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 evil clown ones. Like evil clown. The, the 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 body snatchers and shit like that. Uh, did you see the it movies? Uh huh. Not the new ones. I haven't seen those yet. Oh, oh, oh. wait, ara ara. <laughs> <laughs> Nani kore? <laughs> All right, so that's that's the next one. Then we I guess we got to watch it. Okay. It's hilariously scary. It's pretty awesome. Cool. Uh, what's the timer on, uh, on Kami here? One minute? Okay. Um, James, I have both, uh, it one and it two. Oh, nice. So I hope you're ready for some, some ridiculousness. I um, heard they were really, really good. I originally, I, I remember the original 
And that was really good. The TV show? Uh, no, the actual movie. The original yeah, it was, it was technically a TV show series that was like movie length, weirdly enough. But yes. Um, but yeah, uh, they're actually pretty funny, which kind of, kind of, kind of fucks you up a little bit because, you know, like there's some really great jokes and then suddenly you're, you're jumping. So it's great. Yeah. I watched some like back, um, behind the curtain stuff for the, the original it movie or the, uh, the most recent, the remake. Um, and I'm looking forward to watching them. I just haven't gone out of my way to, you know get it to watch Same. it so Same. i mean that's that, that's like the dude who played it the things he can do with his eyes were not cg in the movie apparently and that was one of the big things that was like oh you're doing this in the movie <laughs> from the director <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it, it, it's cool. it's it's badass it's uh, uh, Skarsgård is the dude's last name. Uh, I forget his first name. Skarsgård does a great fucking job as uh, like a singer it. or something like that. I can't remember. Uh, Kami, would you like to answer Lou's question about your? Uh, when are you putting your Christmas tree up? Uh, I, I usually do it after Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving. Like, day after Thanksgiving is usually when I put it up. So you like to but, give holidays, you know, their time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> that. That's been one of my things. Like. I, I try to do it, but like my folks, they'll put it up. Like my aunt, I guarantee you probably had her tree up yesterday. She'll just do it early, and I'm like, I can't, I can't do it. Like y'all, I gotta, I gotta give it some time, give it some time. And I'm moving around then anyway, so like, <laughs> I can't put it up. Then I'd have to take it back down and then put it True. back up. So no, 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 no. Uh, guys, I want to make a little announcement here, and also a thanks. Thanks to all the subs. We are at 61 subs. So that means... Uh, yeah, me that means uh, we get to commission Lulu for another emote. <laughs> Yet another emote. <laughs> Yet another emote. Yeah, because yeah, um, we've unlocked the next uh, tier. And actually, if I take a look real quick uh, while we're kind of here, uh, let's see... Yeah, so we got this one. It doesn't say when we get the next one. Oh my god, spooky. <laughs> oh my god, this man's going in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. You know, I'm not mad about it at all. I'm definitely not mad about it one bit. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, bringing that closer? Is that that's the one that I asked you about to make before, wasn't it? The freaking yeah. troll one, the troll tater. <laughs> Do you see that, Kami? Yeah, I love, I love that. <laughs> the, old nice. the old, the old troll tater. <laughs> nice. Oh, the that's sad okay. Kami. I love that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, squad. <laughs> Oh, and it has the center cut out. This one's um, it's, like, it's like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon. I I like it. I like it. Thank you very much for showing us those. And I'm so glad you make our emotes because you do a fantastic job. God damn, so many subs today. It's fantastic. That, mean, that means we might be able to play Battlefield, guys. We might all be able to play Battlefield together. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Next question, next question. James, what you got for us? Um, I didn't write it down. Um, I have nothing. Well, you th you go ahead and think about that, Mr. Nothing, while Kami uh, enlightens us with his HR question of the week. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's next week, that's next week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Today, I couldn't think of one, so I, I went to a good old Google and was like, give me a random question generator. And I found one. And it's interesting. We'll go with that. So, right. how do you think the world would be if bananas were illegal? Real random, but think about it. Think about it. 
Did if you know? Bananas are illegal or don't exist anymore. What do you think will happen? Wasn't there a thing in our time, James, where like kids were like boiling banana peels to make like, uh, I think like boiling banana peels was actually a thing that kids were doing. Uh, it's a spaghetti substitute. No, 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 no. They were doing it because, uh, like for like drug stuff. Um, Addicts said South America wouldn't be unstable. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, I'm pretty sure there would be a black market for bananas. Uh, well, it didn't I'm, exist. I, I myself, no, let's, let's, let's take this question and say, what if bananas became illegal tomorrow? What would happen? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it at that. That was the original question was, you know, how, how would we be affected if they were illegal, but still were around? Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so first off, people would be pissed because their trees would get uprooted, right? Like all the, all the banana trees gone, gone you know, axed. Um, we would have an illegal banana trade, of course, because, you know, some people need their potassium. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need their potassium. Man, how would you get potassium after that? Like, just pills? Yeah, just potassium pills, I guess. Mm, you, you get it in mostly your everyday life. Like, you don't have to eat bananas. They're just a strong source of it. Right, but yeah, I'm but saying, but like, like, there are people that... Deficiency. Yeah, people require but more. Like, only a mild deficiency. Like, a banana is all you need. I mean, okay, so first off, one, bananas themselves are actually slowly, slowly dwindling in supply. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, that's, Our it's... bananas are not true bananas. They're, they're already done. Yeah, we're yeah they're, they're, they're hybrid. The modified ones that you find in the store. Yeah. Um, that strain of bananas is becoming harder to grow. So they're kind of already going that direction anyway. That's already been something that's been in the news for like five years. I Imagine. don't want to know this information, but it comes across my YouTube. Uh, that sounds about right. Um, but I mean, ultimately, it wouldn't affect me because I don't eat bananas. Imagine so. having to substitute bananas for white beans. And just having to eat beans all the time. I'm a connoisseur of refried beans and like beans and chili and stuff like that. So I can get that. But like, like you need a fruit. You know what I mean? Because like if I if I know that it's cold and flu season or I know my allergies are going to kick in, I'm drinking orange juice. You know what I mean? I need that OJ. If OJ was outlawed tomorrow and I needed a source of calcium to fight this fucking cold, I don't want an emergency tablet like... That shit sucks. Give me an orange, you know what I mean? No, 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 bro. You got y'all think about it too deeply. Imagine the chaos. <laughs> that would not ensue. No, 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 no. You can't get your banana smoothie? Like banana I mean, smoothie or banana split Sunday, bro. Like that's chaos right there. The world's fucking ending. <laughs> I haven't had a banana smoothie since I went to what is it, Trop what was that? Tropical smoothie? What was that? Tropical smoothie. You get that like peanut butter seven years ago. Shake, though, don't you? Uh, I just do peanut butter now. Uh, but you did. Um, <laughs> I do, yeah, just peanut butter now. So I do peanut butter and honey shakes. Uh, instead of using sugar, I use honey to sweeten it up. It's healthier. Um, uh, you know. Hold on. Hang on, hang on, James. I think Lulu's got yeah. something. Something she's she's dying to tell us. Go ahead. Banana pudding would go away. Fuck! Right, like, come on! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> my, my Thanksgiving would be ruined. God Dude, damn it! What the fuck is the point of going to Thanksgiving at that point? Like, I love y'all, but fuck y'all. Ain't no banana pudding, bye. Ooh, apple pie a la mode, bro. I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 fuck that. We don't do that. We don't I'm do good. that. We do banana pudding. We do we, we do an assortment of uh, of things, but banana pudding is one of them. I agree. Damn it, Lulu, you just made my heart hurt right there. Am I the Lulu, only? Lulu, that's where my mind went. The benefit: no more banana uh, uh, jelly beans. 
banana jelly Ooh. Are also no yeah, more banana laffy taffy or banana run see i get them shits out of here i agree yeah well, or the starburst yeah i was gonna say that's artificial banana, banana flavor which is not the same because the, the original what bananas originally tasted like whereas what we know of is yeah but like wouldn't they just be like all banana flavors are gone too just act the hope. banana uh, no, 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 no. Real, our, our real bananas are cool, but artif our artificial ones, that's what we get now. Oh, banana, God. Actual banana is outlawed. You know, it's just like THC and CBD. You know, you can get one, but you can't get the other. Even though both, both of them here. do the same fucking thing. Yeah, you can get it here now, too. <laughs> Technically. Well, you can you legally have it. Getting it is still... There's always DC. Some slight. So good. <laughs> some slight. Some slight. <laughs> um cool awkward question weird question but i like it i like it what happens if bananas dude plantains if plantains were gone i would fucking riot because i dude you don't understand one day i'll one day i'll make you understand when you come over it's like making your own homemade potato chips with salt on there oh, ah, so oh, good plantain dude. chips oh my god no 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 I've so we do uh, what's called platanos, which is like you, it's a double fried uh, plant, uh, plantain. So you, you fry it once, right? You, you cut it in chunks, you fry it, and you smash it, and you fry it again. You sprinkle some salt on it. It is, it's unexplainable how good it is. It's, you know the plants and chips that you're talking about? Think about that, but a little bit fluffier and meatier. And you just, oh, oh it's so good. Nice and warm. and t mm. I would, I would fry it. Wood riot. If you if you pick up plantains, give me give me a shout, and I'll t teach you how to make them. They're easy, but they're so delicious, so delicious. Uh, yeah, grapples are amazing. I was uh, talking to Wiggly about it because he found cotton candy grapes for the oh first time. God. Cotton candy grapes are nice. Yeah, but if you've never had a grapple before, it is a apple that tastes like a grape. It is a it is a hybrid apple and it is actually really delicious, huh? You said you don't know about them. They have. Have you never seen a princess apple? Princess oh, apples. Is a princess apple is a uh, no, strawberry no. crossover apple. That one's actually really delicious too. Granny <laughs> Smith or nothing. Fuck all that. Actually. Also enjoy a good Granny Smith, but if you haven't tried them before, you have to at least try it. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Yeah, exactly. If you don't like it, you don't like it. You know what I mean? But it's definitely weird. You're like, wait a minute, what the fuck am I eating right now? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's really weird. James, do you have? Did you? Do you got one? Or are you still stumped? No, I've I've found a question generator. Um, oh god. <laughs> okay. And it actually has good questions. You're um, welcome. Like, um, what fictional world would you prefer to have a vacation in? Ooh. Glad I didn't say Attack on Titan like I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, because he would fucking get murdered. <laughs> like, oh, I'm gonna go enjoy the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what fictional world would you what? Vacation in. Mm -hmm. uh, damn, I just had the place. I'm mulling. There's a few that I would like. Yeah, there's a few churning through my head. Because if I can vacation there, does that mean when I come back, I keep what I get? You know what I mean? Because like, there's some uh, worlds where you go. So there's, you there's, go, you might gain some powers for that world, but you're only there on vacation, so you ain't you know doing no fighting yeah, or anything. Back when I come back. Just, so when I come back, I relinquish my fucking power? Terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible. Uh, I'll yes, go to. to, go to nice, nice. Uh, I'll go to the world of Don Machi. Oh, Don Machi. Yeah, mm. yeah. Because as soon as you get there, right, I'm on a vacation. So they got dope hot springs and stuff. I may or may not get my power level tested. Maybe taking the sights in some of the dungeons, murder some things, meet a girl in a dungeon because that's what you do while you're there, right? And then bounce. Do you conform to that world, or do you stay the same? Conform, hundred yeah. percent. 
perform. Because yeah. if you don't, then well, like you're there, you're there, you're in that world. You you've conformed to having the powers of that world. So you might gain <clears throat> something awesome, or you could be completely worthless. Waiting for someone like, to say Tokyo oh, Ghoul. Bro, I'm trying to go to one of the Gundam verses, bro. I'm trying to pilot a mech, but I don't want to. Those planets well, getting destroyed. <laughs> That's why I, said, I don't want to die, though. <laughs> you you ain't getting isekai. You ain't seeing Truck Sama, okay? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> At the assassin anime, I was like, wait a minute, is that Missile Sama? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking F fourteen Sama. The only one who said that when I saw the Oh, like F fourteen Sama. No. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh. <laughs> Lulu, oh, where would you vacation? Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Ooh, all right, all right. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, as long as you don't, you know. But but the question is, Lulu, what happens Are if you, you don't get the golden that, ticket? Yeah. I don't want the golden ticket. I want to run around in that room where everything in it you can eat. But you can't. You have to be able to get in there. You need you the golden to ticket. ticket. Yeah. We're, we're, we're <laughs> assuming she got the golden ticket. Yeah, like if I'm vacationing, like yeah, that means the she ticket got. is part of it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm with it. I'm with it. You just want to go in there and lick the walls and stuff? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> <laughs> the walls fresh though. That's that's the main thing I need to know. <laughs> Wiggly said, "Hands down, I'd go slime, and then find out he's a normal person and get eaten by somebody." <laughs> uh, Pokemon, yeah, definitely Pokemon. Like being a Pokemon master on vacation would be kind. That'd of be good. pretty tight. That'd be pretty. Tight. I probably would life. not leave. Not going to lie, and chill. Probably yeah. would live there. Oh, uh, because it looks like you. Yeah, Looks like you don't need a job to live in the Pokemon world, so. You don't. Yeah. Just yeah. go battle all day. That's enough. All right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, even the kids walk around with thousands of dollars on them. So you, yeah, we're good. Hundreds <laughs> of thousands. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Be walking around rich as fuck. I'm just gonna walk around with my Air Force ones. <laughs> Hey, uh, I see you got some nice Pokemon there. Run those pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Run them right now. Did you just look me in the eyes? Oh, we done. <laughs> Ninja <laughs> Twan. Ninja oh, Twan equips Air Force once and pulls out Strap. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. IRL Pokemon would eat you probably, but if we're in the game world, probably not. I think if you, I think if you started in the Pokemon world on vacation, does that mean you have a mom who's like, "Hey, your dad died, go outside and catch Pokemon," and then you're like, "Okay, mom, cool," and then. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. Daddy went out for a pack of gum. Mommy met Professor Oak. No big deal. No big deal. Somehow you're no, 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 you're no, his no, number one student. Not Attack on Titan, right? Not Attack on Titan. Okay, 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 okay. You gotta go to the world of Shokugeki. Oh, it's for the Mom, best food. <laughs> you're about to eat. You eating good? You're guaranteed a fire meal and maybe two weird snacks. And you also get to watch people fight every single day so over who got the better food. Like, you just find randomly. Yeah, they're just like, they're like, hey, <laughs> try this. And you're just like, I don't want and you to. be like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Unless you're that dude that you know, always finds himself walking in the desert randomly. <laughs> unless you're that dude. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I went around the world to find the best flavors, and it took me to a desert where I nearly died. Bruh, why? <laughs> why are you like this? No cap. Oh, my God. Taste a soul? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, guys, that brings us to the end of Squadcast episode eight. Star Wars would be fire. Uh, Star Wars would not be fire. No. Because legit no, everything's be trying fire. to kill you. Star Wars <laughs> would be on fire. The, you're, you're, once again, vacation. I mean, you ain't getting caught up in the shit, okay? Sith Lord. You can't. You're not gonna be a. 
<laughs> but you're not gonna be a Sith Lord though. If and if you were, your underlings trying to murder you or the person above you. Don't worry about all that. <laughs> I'm on vacation. I'm here to fuck shit up and leave. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not a long oh, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, I that planet that was dope as shit. I'm out. <laughs> He goes to vacation in Star Wars, ends up on Alderaan. <laughs> all I wanted to do was be a Sith. <laughs> a little bright out here all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Uh, what's that red light? Is it a warning sign? Oh, no. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for your time. Thank you for everything we love you guys we hope to see you in the next one we will be live again continuing our run wednesday of back for blood we are in chapter four almost we are near the end from what we assume don't know if it goes on any further and uh yeah just go and kill some zombies i think that we're gonna pull some final fantasy streams this weekend though so i hope you guys are around we'll be running uh the stream we'll be in yorza hanging out I will try to get Kami to bring his fucking desktop over here or something. We'll figure it out. Or maybe you can just, you can probably just log in from my, from my laptop, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it would be easier. Yeah, because we can just upload your, uh, your, uh, stuff. Yeah. Make sure to put your pennies together if you guys want to help out, raise money to get the free company, uh, you know, shenanigans funded. If you guys want to help fund the Discord shenanigans and all that stuff. Please make sure to come check us out. We'll set the times for Saturday and Sunday. I will put them in the Discord if you haven't joined. The resources and links about us and information about where you can find us are all in the About Me section below. Thanks for coming by. Guys, again, we love you all. And we'll see you in the next one. Uh, but before we go, can I get a Hoya? Hoya? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess we're not gonna get it. No, no, not a Hoya. If you get a hit with that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. We hope you had a great day. Have a great night. We'll see you in your easy or whatever game we're playing next. Have a good night. Peace. Try try the Hoya one more time for them, bro. Uh, oh wait, I gotta do it. Oh, yeah. Now that sounds like a robotic Hoya is starting to break up. <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. That's for you guys. Have a good night. Later. <laughs>